Please welcome the editor of Red Alert Politics, Ron Meyer. Conservative Summit, it's great to see you all this evening. If the Washington establishment insists on leaving all of the problems of our country to the next generation, it's time for the next generation to lead now. If Washington is going to punt all of our nation's problems, whether it's the debt, social security of the next generation, if Washington insists on punting higher education prices, higher tuition prices to the next generation without any solutions, and if Washington continues to punt higher health care costs from Obamacare to the next generation, it's time for us to stand up, and it's time for us to stand up today. Our government is failing our future. And, and instead of demanding free stuff, it's time for young conservatives and young Americans to stand up to overturn the tables in Washington and issue in a new era of real leadership. So what does that mean? For young conservatives, I think it means you got to get in the communities. You have to consider your own leadership positions. You have to go knock doors. We have to convince our peers, and we have to win elections. For me, that's been twofold. Uh, I'm from Virginia, and I'm glad that we have a couple other speakers from Virginia. I'm in one of the five swing counties in the swing states. I'm in Loudoun County, Virginia. We are the bellwether of the bellwethers on who wins the presidential uh, nomination. Instead of being told to be pushed to the back of the line, at age 26, I decided to run for a local government position in a seat that President Obama won by 11%. With hard work and conservative messaging, we won by 17%. Youngest ever elected to the Board of Supervisors. Every young person in this room should consider getting more involved in their local government and, and local opportunities. My other full-time job is I actually am the editor of Red Alert Politics. It's a site for millennials, by millennials, and what we're doing is debunking the liberal myths that they're trying to give to our generation, whether it's free stuff, free college, free health care. We're out there debunking those myths. I definitely encourage you to go to that site. One of the things we're doing is we recognize every year 30 young people under 30 who are making a big difference in their communities. If you know someone who fits that category, we just extended the deadline today for two more weeks. Submit your young person at redalertpolitics.com and we can honor them for the work they're doing if you know people who are doing exceptional work. And that brings us to tonight. I was asked to judge, uh, as we co-sponsored with the Centennial Institute, a contest for people under 30 to give a 10-minute speech. So much now with young people, you have to do it in short clips, and certainly 10 minutes is something where you know it's shorter, it's not your 30-minute speeches that you've been hearing from politicians today. We had one person that really stood out, and I'm confident that the winner of this competition is going to help us lead now. She's just 20 years old. Ellen Densmore is a rising junior at, Col at Colorado Christian University. You guys might be familiar with her. <laughs> She's studying business and political science. She's honing her skills, which she says are necessary to be a voice of truth and liberty among millennials. She was homeschooled through high school and competed in speech and debate. And more importantly, and most importantly, she says she lives by this Bible verse. And this is why I had to bring my personal teleprompter up here. 1 Timothy, Timothy 4.12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. Please help me welcome and congratulate the winner of our under 30 speech contest, Ellen Desmore. <laughs> 